Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is a uh, Kawai, which I'm very, very familiar, very experienced with Kawai pianos. I've worked on many thousands of them, um, and I've got great respect for Kawai, especially from this era, which is 1986, as I mentioned. It's a 49 inch, which here again, um, the, uh, the height that I, that I really prefer is above 48 inches. Uh, as if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that, uh, that in my opinion, 48 inches and above is really the place to go below that. Um, pianos can be okay. They can, I don't, I don't turn my nose up at them by any means, but, but I just don't necessarily get as musically excited about a piano that's, that's smaller. And so this one's got, got good size. From a cosmetic standpoint, this piano is in nearly perfect condition. I'd give it probably, maybe not an A+, plus, but an A. If you look at it from across the room, you'd think it was brand new. If you look at it up close, um, frankly, it looks, it looks almost brand new as well. Inside, same thing. We've been through it very, very thoroughly. There's about a 30 year or so um, span of, uh, of prime use for a piano and then it needs to be refurbished. It, uh, and this piano has had that, it's been refurbished, and so I would give this piano another good 25, even 30 years of excellent service. Now, those, those numbers, of course, are very rough, and, and that said, I've, I've worked on, on literally thousands of pianos that are 100 years old or more, and, and they work very, very well. So, so really, it, those, those numbers are rough, and it depends on how you define excellent condition or, or excellent service. So, um, I, I have no, no concerns, no complaints whatsoever about this piano. It's, it's really just in excellent condition. And we've seen, we've seen to it. So everything that we've done to it would, would be cleaning. It's, it's, uh, it's very clean inside. Tightening the action, lubricating the action, aligning the action, reshaping hammers. Proper regulation, so, so regulation is a fairly broad term that, that refers to a number of things, including dip, which is how deep you can depress the key. That changes dimension over time, and so we've, we've fixed that. The blow distance, which is the distance that the, the hammer is from the string when the hammer's at rest, that, that's a very specific distance. The let off distance, which is the distance that the hammer pulls away from the string as it, as it comes close to the, to the string. Um, and, and maybe about a dozen others that, uh, that, that are all brought to, to within proper spec. So, so the, the benefits of having a properly regulated piano, when every piano, by the way, older than, older than five, maybe 10 years old, is gonna, is gonna be outside of this regulation to the point where it's gonna, it's gonna be, uh, um, it's gonna cause loss of precision in your, in your touch consistency in the touch, and then also the, uh, the degree to which you can express yourself musically both on the pianissimo side as well as the fortissimo side. So um, let's hear it. It has a, has a nice, slightly on the bright side, but not, not ob obnoxious by any means. Maybe uh, if you were to think of, think of it on a spectrum, like a zero to 10 spectrum. Zero being very dark and 10 being very bright. This piano is probably a six, maybe a seven, something like that. Rich bass also, I should mention that. That's what I'm hearing. I hope that comes through on the on the video. Okay, it has a really nice rich bass. So uh
Feel free to come check it out, 1497 South State Street in Orem, or if you're outside of Utah, lots of people um, have, have purchased Gal from us outside of Utah, really sight unseen, and, uh, and they're not disappointed. There's no reason that, uh, that you shouldn't feel comfortable um, buying, it, buying it long distance, and uh, shipping rates are, are um, more, more reasonable than you would expect for a 600 pound giant object. Um, you can also give me a call. My cell is 801-830-0011. Thanks for watching.